guess what day it is? It's Vlogging Monday! Welcome back to my channel and to another daily vlog. So happy that you're all here. Hey, Corn, wanna say hi? Give everyone an update? Last week, if you guys watched, I took Corny to the vet because she had a UTI, which is so sad, like my heart. If you have had one, you know. And for a doggy to have one, what a, tr what a tragedy. But thank God it wasn't worse. Anyways, she's on medication. She's seemingly feeling so much better. So thank you for all of your love and concern. Guys, jumping quickly. Um, I am clearly very energized and very excited, and I will tell you why. I had my first sale on Poshmark. <laughs> I finally did it. I started listing and I listed a dress yesterday and someone bought it already. I'm so excited. So I'm in the process of packaging it. This is all new to me. I know a lot of you out there probably um, have experience in this, but this is like literally new for me. Um, so will you package with me? Let's package together, shall we? So like I said, I am, this is all new and I'm totally ill-equipped. I don't even have packing material, um, but I just received a package from Etsy, a gift that I'm giving my brother. And so I figured I would just like repurpose their packaging until I sort of get my packaging down. So, this is fun. I mean, listen, it's like not a full-time job situation, but it's definitely a fun little like side hustle. So we'll see how I do, but I'm clearly very thrilled. So this is the dress. It's a uh, Ann Taylor loft, if you guys remember this. I think I did this in a thread up video and I never wore it. I did take off the tag which was unfortunate because I think you can sell a little bit better if it still has tags on it. But this was first to go. I just listed it and same day, someone bought it. So fun. I love shopping on Poshmark and I love shopping on ThreadUp as you guys know. So it's kind of fun just to be a part of the community. I don't know the ins and outs of it. I like in my sub box uh, on YouTube, I was like getting all these like Poshmark insider tips and tricks. I don't know if I have like the bandwidth to really like get down and dirty with it, but we'll see For now, I'm just excited to not waste uh, Clothes honestly, even though I haven't worn this. I'm certainly going to do a little D Corny in it. I was like always kind of intimidated to do this because I didn't know what the shipping process was like I thought like you had to figure out everything in terms of like how much it costs to ship and all that stuff, but they make it so easy for you. They give you a prepaid label to print out and you literally just send it off. So this looks pretty good. Jeff, we're rich now. Thank God! This one dress is gonna secure our future. Dude, sell my body on Poshmark, I'm ready. Poshmark? I don't know. <laughs> I interrupt this Poshmark to show you guys just how precious and great she is. Look at her. Yahoo! Yahoo! Oh, Yahoo! Oh, corn, you're the best. Alright, so here I packaged it up from someone else's packaging on Etsy. Thank you for the people I bought from on Etsy. I bought little onesies for my brother's soon to be babe. Um, so I'm just reusing, which I guess is the whole point of this sustainability. Me, I'm like, I wanna go out and like buy all new tissue paper and, and like stickers and like all this stuff. And it's like, let's slow down. You made literally one sale, so calm down. Reduce, reuse, recycle and make your 20 bucks or whatever I made. But I'm gonna double package this. This is so exciting. Tonight we're going um, in Hollywood at the Hollywood Forever Cemetery. They do movies there. Sounds kind of creepy, but it's actually like really fun. And you bring um, like a picnic and you bring chairs, like lawn chairs and blankets. And um, you guys, I mean, I feel like I've talked about it before. And if you follow me on Instagram, you've probably seen it. It's just a really fun like summer event. And so tonight's the first uh, one that we're going to for this summer season. And we're going to see Aliens, which is Jeff's most favorite movie of all times. I think I've seen it twice. I fall asleep every time, so every time is like the first time. <laughs> um, okay, they say for Poshmark to like put in a thank you note, which seems like a little much for every single time, but I happen to have these thank you notes uh, from our wedding leftover, so 
You can do that. I want to put my Poshmark candle, but now I forgot it. So I got to go look that up. Be right back. But it is in the links below if you guys want to shop my Poshmark. Hold on. I'm an idiot. <laughs> Enjoy your dress. Oh, we're back for car vlog, car vlog with corn. Although this time we're not going to the vet, CC. We're going to go see Billy. You want to go see Billy and Grandma? You want to go see BB? <laughs> okay. Let's do it. Headed to drop her off at my mom's so she could play with the pup and spend the night there since we're going to be out late. I'm going to put you back, okay? Poshmark package is off. Hopefully by the time this video goes up, I'll have listed some more. Now I'm like so into it. Let's see if I can maintain the excitement. I'm sort of known for starting projects and then either like getting over them quickly or not finishing them. I don't know, is that my personality trait? Is that my astrology trait? I like just want to do a million things and things get me excited and then I need to move on to the next project. But um, for years I've just been giving away clothes, which I'm still happy to do. I actually have a bag of clothes for my friend's daughter that I talk about all the time because she loves my stuff. So I have a bag for her, um, but I figured at least like half of the stuff would be worth selling. So we shall see. Also gonna grab some stuff at my mom's cause she said she had some stuff just to kind of like switch up. I want to like provide, um, I want to provide different sizes and styles as well. I'm a full service kind of gal. You know what I mean? That's what he said. I gotcha. Oh no, stop. <laughs> Let's go see your closet. I already said that we're gonna sell your clothes. <laughs> so far, some sexy attire from my mother. Oh, look at this leather bondage dress. She can't wear. Uh, what do you guys think? Unimpressed. So I'm back home now, and it's so weird because Jeff is at the gym and Corny is at my mom's, so it's just me in the house. I don't know what to do with myself. Obviously I have to turn on the camera, so I'm not alone. It's like so quiet. My friends with kids always talk about that moment when everyone's gone and they're like for a rare occasion by themselves at home and how quiet it is. I get it on a very small level. I get it and I see the bliss. Wanted to show you a few things. One, um, this is Saturday, so tomorrow's Father's Day. Um, you guys saw I did a deal with StoryWorth, so I'm giving that for my dad. Um, but also, I printed out this picture for him on FrameBridge, not sponsored. I wish FrameBridge would sponsor me. I need to like reach out to them if anyone knows them over there. I think that they're brilliant and I'm a big fan of them and I use their services frequently. And so I printed out this really cute picture of my dad giving a speech at um, our wedding. And it looks like I'm crying because I'm sad, but I'm like crying of happiness. It's so cute. Um, but it got, I like, shame on me who claims to be good at home decor stuff. I thought I understood the measurements and then it came and it's so much bigger than I expected. I like wanted the, this to go on like his, um, you know, bookshelf or something, but it's huge. So now he's stuck with a huge picture of me. So I need to wrap that. Oh, by the way, I'm a huge iced tea fan and I love a tea, tea java, tea java, tea java. I love this brand, but I didn't know that they made a peach one unsweetened. It's really good. But what I really wanted to show you, I always say I'm going to do like a full on Costco haul. And then um, I go to Costco with my mom and we have so much fun. And then we get home and then we're all exhausted. And then we like split up our stuff. And then by the time it like gets home, I just like don't do it. But we went this past weekend and we scored mega big. And I got one of the plants of my dreams for $14. Costco, bless you. Who knows the quality of the plant, but I gotta say it's looking really good right now. So let me show you. Here she is in all her glory. I think she's gonna do really well. I think, I forget like the technical name for this, but um, people refer to this as an elephant ear because obvious reasons. And I've always really liked these. I just didn't think I can afford one or I guess justify spending money on it because they're usually expensive. 
But for a plant this size, with a new one coming in, new friend coming in, $14, get out of here. I'll keep you updated on her uh, success rate over here. Now I want to go back and get like a million more of them, but I try to like contain myself a little bit. But she was pretty. They also had so many other like fruit trees. My neighbor was just telling me that they had avocado, lemon, like all the fruits. My neighbors like to grow like uh, fruits and vegetables. And she noticed, I didn't notice because I don't look out for it, but she noticed at the Costco that she went to, we went to two separate ones on the same day. How's that? How's that for neighborly love? Um, she said that they had a lot of those too. So if you're in the market for a plant, and you have a Costco card, get over there because it's coming up over there right now. Also this outfit, <laughs> just my house 70s outfit. The thing about Costco, however, now I'm getting passionate and talking about Costco, um, is it, they don't have the same things there all the time. So if you're there and you're like, mm, should I get this or not, get it. Get it. I regret they have my mezcal there or they had my mezcal there. Uh, you guys know I drink El Silencio and typically it's like $30. They had it for $20. I got one bottle and now I really regret not getting more. I went back to get it and it was no longer on the shelves. However, for my fellow boozers out there, this is $12.99 at Costco. $12.99 for this giant thing of vodka which apparently is exactly the same as Tito's, like the same manufacturer makes it. Someone follow up on that because I know that there's a Kettle One one as well, or is it Grey Goose? So basically like at Costco, they will put like a bottle of, uh, let's say Grey Goose, and then they'll put like the Kirkland brand next to it, or like the whatever their other version of it is next to it. And then there's like a huge price like decrease and this is the same it's like tito's and then this you can't beat it oh costco i have such a warm place for you in my heart and also my grandma like loved costco so much so every time we go there my mom and i think about her and how she just loved those hot dogs I'm trying to think if there's anything else oh some more like frozen food i really like this mix um, pure Vita, fire roasted, primavera. It's just good for me to have frozen vegetables because you guys know I'm just a terrible chef and I also get to the grocery store and I don't know what to buy. This lasted me so long and I used it a lot. So I definitely wanted to refill on that. And then just like frozen berries and stuff. I mean, even compared to Trader Joe's, if you have the space for the stuff at Costco, brilliant. I didn't get any clothes, although I was eyeing the bralettes again because they have them there still. And let me just show you if you're like, uh, you know, about to head to Costco and you're in need. I've showed these on camera before, but these really are my favorite. I wear these more than bras. Um, there are these DKNY bralettes. They come in a pack of two um, and they're just amazing. <laughs> I love them so much. I should have bought another one, but I was trying not to be like super excessive. But again, one of those things where next time I need it, I'm gonna go back and it's not gonna be there. So get on it, get on it. I put on a t-shirt because uh, the Postmates, sweet Postmates man came by and I figured it would be really aggressive if I was wearing uh, what I was wearing prior. So. Hence the change of the outfit. Um, like I said, we do a picnic, but you know, we do our version of a picnic, which means ordering Mendocino Farms salads. Jeff and I get the same salad if you're Mendo's fans. Hey, hey. If you know, you know, we get the vegan taco salad, which is awesome. It's just like an easy thing to travel with. I always thought maybe I would be like, the cute gal that like makes really fancy charcuterie boards um, for picnics and stuff. I'm not, I order from Mendocino Farms, so. Love me for who I am. I also went to the liquor store across the street from us just to pick up a bottle of Prosecco. And um, I saw, I keep seeing another YouTuber. Her name is Erin, Erin, mm, Carly. Carly and Erin. They um, do like have a shared channel and I've watched some of their videos. I don't even know, I guess they were part of the David Dobrik 
clan or whatever. So I've actually seen some of their videos and I think they're both so cute. Um, and she must live near me because I see her. This is, I think, like the second time I've seen her. But like, do I say hi? Do you know what I mean? Like, I don't, it's so weird. I, I, I don't even know, I don't even know how I would broach the subject. Like, what do I say? Like, I do it too, but you're way more popular than me as you pull up in your very nice car and I'm over here in my very dirty ass Prius. But still, you know, it's all relative. She's also like way younger and hipper than I am. So I would just come off looking like the weird old lady, I think. Truth of the matter is, I think most YouTubers, I can't say this about influencers in general. I don't know what the new generation on TikTok. Sorry, the dryer is so loud. Um, I don't know those generations, but I do feel like my generation YouTubers were all like so introverted um, and sort of socially uncomfortable, which is why we do what we do, because this is our way to like express but within the safety of our, the safety, the safety of our, um, you know, our own home and control of the camera. This is hysterical. I feel like this is such an epic um, thumbnail, but then like, what do I title it? You know what I mean? Random thoughts. As I was in the car, I was like, how do I know that car on the other side of the street isn't gonna just like veer over and be like, fuck it. I, life is shitty and I'm taking that random girl and the Prius down. You know what I mean? You don't. Um, also, I am obsessed with Harry Styles. Let me turn that dryer off, hold on. It's the overalls, it's always the overalls that make the loud sound. Also tying into this idea of seeing uh, Carly more than once, isn't it weird to think that like, you might have crossed paths with the same person so many times and never met that person and never will meet that person. And or, isn't it weird to think I'm gonna put the dishes away. Um, isn't it weird to think that, like Jeff and I like to think a lot about the fact that we probably crossed paths many times before we met. I mean, that one's not as insane because we are both in very similar worlds in terms of our work and like comedian community. And so we can definitely like identify a few times where like, we probably cross paths, including this thing that we're going to tonight. Uh, it's like Jeff's favorite thing to go to. And I used to go with my friends, so we're assuming we probably cross paths um, there as well. I just think like there's something very like romantic about that, and it would be fun to like zoom out and see all those moments when we did. And or do you guys think like if Jeff and I hadn't met on Bumble, um, or if like things had gone different and we didn't meet at that time, do you think we still would have met? Do you know what I mean? Like I do believe that he is my soulmate, so I imagine if it wasn't the way we met then then we would find each other somehow later on. I love that kind of shit. Just like sliding doors moments, but also this idea that like, no matter what, we were bound to meet. You know what I mean? I feel like that about friends too. Just random thoughts while I do chores. This is what this channel's turning into. Stories on chores on chores on stories. Anyhow, Mondays, am I right? Ooh, I have a YouTube question for you guys. It's more of like a preference thing for you guys. So vlogs are on Mondays, as you guys know, sometimes throughout the week also, but for sure I love doing vlogging on Mondays because the weekends are fun to vlog and blah, blah, blah. My question to you is titling the vlogs. You know, I get it. I get people's resistance to clickbait. Totally understand that. Um, but also like, it's part of the job, right? So like part of the job is identifying the right title and making sure that it is clickable, right? Um, but I'm curious in terms of vlogs, what people like, because some of the vloggers that I watch are very specific about what you're seeing. So it's like, you know, they'll list like three things, like today, a uh, Costco haul, random thoughts, and um, my Poshmark experience or whatever, right? Like it's like that. Or it'll just say like Costco haul, but that's just like such a small little thing out of the grand scheme. Or it'll be even more like um, innocuous, is that the word? No. 
um, not as informative and it'll be like my new career right us like pushing towards the fact that like a Poshmark is not my new career it's not but you know what I'm saying so I'm just curious with vlogs what you guys prefer and or what you like tend to click on you know I know it's gonna be a mixed response but I'm just curious and it's always changing and stuff and I also feel like people's preferences are always changing I know like even for me as like a viewer of videos like my preferences on what I click on change the curious query did you guys see that the bachelorette is coming back um and it's coming back with two bachelorettes from last season they're like posing it as like they're gonna be best friends um every season I'm like I'm not gonna watch it but you know I'm going to <laughs> You just know I am. It's like a bad drug that I can't get off of. And the chatty broads who are podcasters, uh, one of them is a former bachelorette, bachelor contestant. Um, they're like, they took some time off. I talked about this before because I kind of just found it interesting. They took time off or a season off from doing their recaps of The Bachelor, but they decided to that they're coming back. At least I saw like one post saying that. So actually I probably should fact check that. Um, but what I saw, it looks like they're going to be recapping again. And I'm genuinely curious why they decided to come back. I'm wondering if that's like where they get their most traffic from. They miss doing it. They're excited for the season. All valid reasons. Like could be a little bit of all of those reasons. I'm just as a um, producer of content. I'm very curious. Um, oh, you know what else random thought I was having? I feel like change is coming. Okay, does anyone else feel like this? And maybe it's just like my mentality. I feel like um, I'm on like this like weird cusp and maybe again, it's like changing of the seasons. I'm not sure. I'm super like porous and just like energy in general. Um, P.S. I feel like the iced tea like kicked in and now I'm just like, let me tell you everything I'm thinking forever. I just feel like changes are coming and for the positive. Praise be y'all from my mouth to whoever is up there. By all means, we could definitely use some changes right now. But I don't know, I guess in a personal sense, I feel like my next chapter is coming. I'm just not exactly sure what it looks like and how it's gonna take form, but I'm excited. I started a new voiceover job. Details to come as soon as I get more information about when it's coming out and where you all can see it. I will definitely be promoting that. But I did my first like at-home session and it was really fun. I'm really excited about it. I just feel like, yes, your girl is getting more work. Just sort of ready for like new adventures and new like flow, you know what I mean? Not exactly sure what that looks like, but certainly my Poshmark success is just beginning. There's some like weird ass like pictures on Poshmark. Like I get it, not everyone needs to be like an influencer and not everyone needs to like, I don't know, but like, if you're gonna sell something, at least try a little with the pictures. It's so creepy. Some of them are like straight up creepy. It's like going on Zillow and like looking at homes where you're like, okay, you are going to charge $1 million. This is very LA. And your place is literally a piece of crap that needs to be literally knocked down. But you're not even gonna like try with the pictures. You're just like, here it is, give me your money. I mean, I guess there's something like bold and like badass about that, but like, damn, dude. All right, now we're really tangent flowing. Well, my friends, I'm back with more knives. Um, this is fun, as usual. I like so very much enjoy hanging out with you. This week, I'm gonna have a newly try on. I feel like I didn't do a good job of picking my newly uh, outfits or pieces this month. I have lots to say. I do think it's my fault. Um, so that'll be going up as soon as I pull it together and try on the outfits. I just haven't been feeling like trying on clothes recently, but it's coming because I think it's interesting and I wanna share uh, my experiences for those who are looking into the service. And um, what else? We'll have a story time on Wednesday and I don't know. I haven't done like a Q&A or like um, an advice video and I'm kind of itching for that. So if you have any um, preferences, 
on what you want to see this week. Certainly let me know. Whatever it is, it's going to be fun because it's with you guys. So, um, yeah, you guys are all great. I'm going to wrap these Father's Day gifts. Get ready for tonight and follow me on Instagram to see pictures of outfits. Oh, and I'm so mad. I bought this dope-ass visor from um, Target, and I totally left it at a restaurant. And I left it at a restaurant like a week ago, and I just realized. I guess I can call now, but then I just feel like they're going to be like, um, you just now realized it? Sorry, girl. That's my story. I guess it's time to go back to Target. We should go back to Target. Actually, funny enough, I did that Target haul. I think it was last week. I'll leave the link below. I had ordered a bunch of home goods stuff and I ended up taking back um, the comforter. We just both decided like it wasn't worth the money um, and we weren't like super happy with the comfort level of the comforter. So I actually like gave it to my mom today because she was going to Target because I knew if I go, I um, would just continue to buy stuff. So um, that being said, let's go next week and buy some stuff. Let me know what you want to see, what section of Target you want me to take you to. Um, and that's it. All right. That's all. I love you guys. I will see you tomorrow.